Wow, it's a lovely sunny day. It's a shame I'm gonna be spending most of it indoors. In this place. That's right, we've come back to the Harry Potter studio tours. Good afternoon guys, how you all doing? Yes, I've returned. So is Trin. Tony who's down there getting the tickets and for the first time, my mum. <laughs> Mum's a very big Harry Potter fan so she's very excited. This is what we bought her for her birthday to come to this place. So yes, we've had it planned for a little while. I don't know, I've not mentioned it. My bad. <laughs> I'll be interested to see what's changed. I think this, actually, I think all of this area has actually changed. I'm pretty certain we came from down here somewhere, past up here. Yeah, this whole entrance area has changed. Huh. But we're not going in until I believe half past two, which is well over half an hour away. So until we do go in, I'm gonna enjoy this glorious sunshine because apparently the temperature here right now is just over 30 degrees. Ah, I'm loving it. Well, it's changed in the reception area. Previously there used to be like pictures and uh, the flying car up there. And I don't remember this doorway being here. Oh, we've got to show it. Where have you got that from? You've got to get in. Alright, they're over there. But yeah, this hall has changed an awful lot since I was last here. Ooh, what's this? Yes, it's definitely changed. Because that wasn't there before. Wow. That's awesome. Come over here. Come this way. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to get a picture of that. This part hasn't changed. The massive queues and uh, the cupboard under the stairs. I just want to get a closer look at it. Here we are, closer to it now. Look at how tiny it was. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've uh, got my passport. The things inside that I believe you need to get stamped. And uh, I think this is new as well. The, all these photos from the films. Huh. I've got a feeling there's a lot changed. Now, well, that was the same was cinema. This set is Watch the filming. film. So please and now we're going the into the Great Hall. This is your first time going in. Yes, Check it out. If I remember right, I walked down that side the last time, so I'm going to go this side this time. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> Cool. It's not real, but it looks it. I think it's a hologram. <laughs> it could be. Who knows? It could be just magic. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, this part of the tour has not changed. It's exactly the same. Even right down to the bottom with uh, all the characters at the end. And of course, that's the main part of the tour. You're getting a lot of photos. I am, yeah. So am I. Well, none of this area has changed at all. So we've got the big, uh, I don't know what you call it, the <laughs> ice castle thing. This cauldron. Actually, I'm not sure if that was there before. I could be wrong. Pretty certain all of this was. I know this was the boys' dormitory. Right here. But yeah, all of this stuff and that, I really love that. I love that the last time I was here. Oh, and this thing that was weird. It's just very, very strange. <laughs> I've just realised something. I've lost the others. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> Turns out I was almost walking past it. They're right there, the first stamps, these things. Yes. You can't really see it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you can. There, look, see. It's got another six to find. I really do love that. I want one for my house. <laughs> Wouldn't fit, but you know really cool yeah there's definitely a lot of things in here that hasn't changed like that 
the potions classroom, Dumbledore's office. Yeah, it definitely hasn't changed. Fantastic in here. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> I love the attention to detail with it all. It's fantastic. This part's new. You get to pose with a broomstick. Oh, I see. You get to call it. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> That's wicked. Yeah, that's definitely new. This part isn't. And of course, all of that. Which I did before, I was on the broomstick last time. I'm not sure, but I think that's new. Part of the Whomping Willow, hitting the car. <laughs> not uh, doing very well with the stamps, I still only got the one. Maybe I should uh, read the clues and uh, go find them. So this one advertised. This is definitely new, the Forbidden Forest. Wow. And by the way, I've got three stamps in my book already. This floor's a bit weird, it's a bit spongy. <laughs> We've got Hagrid. Oh, it's spooky. <laughs> I better put the big spider in here now. No, that used to be a buggy head. The one that you freaked out at last time? Yeah. I'm saying nothing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. There. Oh man, it's getting darker and ah, I see a web. That's not good. I've got to film that on it. He really hates spiders. There's one right there. <laughs> anyway, somewhere. Oh, here we go. <laughs> It's like the one in, I saw in my bedroom the other day. <laughs> so, what's the matter with you? Selfie! There's <laughs> nothing to see! Play me like that one over there? Yeah! <laughs> cool. I'd freak out if that suddenly jumped forward. In fact, Looks like it's on some sort of thing that does bring it forward. A frame. Look, see, it does it does move forward. We've just seeing it go back. Uh, it should come right out here. It looks like we've just gone round in a circle because now I'm going into a shop. It's round here. Ah. Oh. oh, hello. Um, I don't remember this last time. <laughs> Just come out of the woods to in here. Cool. In fact, I'm pretty certain it says the next stamp's near the train, I think. I'm not sure. This is cool. Wow. Definitely gonna have to get photos of in here. Ah, Mum's found the stamps there. Mum's got a stamp. <laughs> Does it? Cool. I won't get my stamp, take some photos in here, and then maybe go in that shop. Mm -hmm. We're very hungry, so we're sat in the cafe. For a bit again. You got hot dog? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go in my belly. Yeah. Ah, we enjoyed that, and now we're outside enjoying the sunshine. Look at how blue the sky is. Wow. I mean, there's nothing else to see around here. <laughs> Uh, well, you can go in. Yeah, you can go in now, you could have before. That definitely is new, we couldn't do that last time. No. Nope. We've still got the night bus here. And of course, the bridge. Right there. There's one thing missing there. Where's the chess set? Yeah, the last time one of the statues was chasing train. And I see they've still got these over here. Hagrid's bike and the flying car. <laughs> and now I've gone and lost the others. Again. I found them <laughs> coming in here inside the house. Oh, there's not much happening up there. Yeah. There's the cupboard under the stairs. What's this? Oh look, it's got a letter. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, that's great. Is that it? That's it. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting to go upstairs and everything. Oh well. Looks like we just have to bask in the sun again. Yeah. We're now in the creature effects section. Oh, it's really cold. Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah. 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 Pretty good likeness. <laughs> oh, I do remember this. This was cool. <laughs> that's awesome. I was wondering if the spider that scared Tony the last time was still here, and it looks like it is. Yep. Aragog. Right there. <laughs> it says it'll be alright this time. I realise this tour's nearly finished. Mind you, it is now quarter past five. We've been here for about three hours already. Um, saying that, this bit's changed. We went straight into Diagon Alley, right here. Okay then. What the heck? There's more creature shop effects. <laughs> Honestly, you'd like go there and you're on Diagon Alley. Wow, there's all sorts. How far does this go? Uh, ooh, got some models here, look. I remember that. That was in a different place. Lots of models. I believe that's the bottom of Gringotts, yeah, the vault. By the way, I've totally left the others behind. <laughs> okay. This is definitely new. Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, ride at uh, Universal Studios. It was like this. What the? Wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gonna have to get some photos in here. Honestly, that was my genuine reaction. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get some photos. I decided to hang back and wait for the others so I can get their genuine reaction of what I just saw. It's amazing. Da, da, da. Are you ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was pretty much saying as I walked in. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, that, that was pretty much what I did. It's absolutely beautiful. Do you think I'll be able to get some gold out? <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing. Just how many more surprises is there? I mean, I remember what the big thing is at the end and I absolutely loved it last time. I'm hoping it's still here. <laughs> I keep forgetting to look out for a stamp. I need to get the next one. Check this out. Wow. Look at it. It's awesome. It's actually moving. Look at that. <laughs> What's in here? Once again, I'm going to say it. This is all new. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeepers. Look at that. That must have taken a long time to put together. It's amazing. This tour has vastly improved. I'm not saying it was bad last time, but it's better now. I've just discovered the next stamp. After I get a few photos, something's happening. Oh, yeah. What the? What the heck? <laughs> oh, what is that? Whoa. Then. 
And now we're into Diagon Alley. Originally we came through down there somewhere. Yep. Ah, I love it in here. This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, and I've already found the next stem. But yeah, I love it in here. And I thought we were nearly done. I want your genuine reaction on this one. Go on then. <laughs> that was pretty much what I said. In fact, I think I swore when I first saw this. Mum, that's the first time Mum's running in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I love this. If I had a big enough garden, I'd have one put in. I like it. <laughs> it's supposed to be another one of them stamps in here somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but it's hard. To, oh, I, oh, never mind, I found it. Down at the bottom of the stairs. Good, I could spend more time admiring this. It is fantastic. I really love this tour. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you must come on there. If you haven't already. Well, that's it, I'm done with filling the passport. <laughs> and also looking at this, we've taken pictures from just about every angle. But uh, I think we're coming to the end of the tour now. I could be wrong, they, they might have some more things. <sighs> but as far as I know, all that's left is the gift shop. Yeah, I can't get enough of looking at this castle. It's absolutely beautiful. But sadly, I think the tour is done with. You had a good time? I've had a great time! <laughs> that's all that matters. Oh, I'm tired. Not just from going around the tour, but from walking up and down the shop numerous times. I bought a few things. I was just about to say I've lost the others but I've seen Tony and Trin there. Although I have lost my mother. <laughs> Rose was right, it was the end of the tour. And yes, I am tired. I've got drivers home. So that's it, we're done with the studio tour. I bought a few things. I bought a birthday present which I can't show. <laughs> I got a Deathly Hallows keyring. And um, I bought something else, <laughs> a wand, Dumbledore's to be precise, bought a stand for it as well, just wanted to show you guys it, <laughs> uh, we're all exhausted, it's time to take the long road home, up the motorway, but I'm going to now finish the video, all that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did, until the next time, peace out. I finished the vlog. Well, unfortunately, a bit of a calamity. The car has broken down. So we got stuck in a lot of traffic because there was an accident. And after a while, you know, we eventually set off again. But we started seeing steam coming out of the vents in the car. So of course, I had to find a place to pull over. Luckily, we found this layby the car over, turn the engine off, we could hear a lot of hissing. So yeah, I've called the AA and now we're just sat waiting for them to come and help us out. <sighs> it's now 20 past nine, just gone. I think I'm gonna get to bed at before 11 tonight, which is which is what I was originally gonna do. But everybody sat on the barrier, you can barely see them. Just when I thought I'd finished filming, <laughs> something happens. Just when I thought I'd sorted my car out, got everything done, this happens. Let's hope we can sort it out and we can get home. Oh my God, do you know what time it is right now? I'm absolutely famished. So it's now currently quarter to three in the morning. No word of a lie, check it out. Right there. The AA gave us quite the run around. They were like, yeah, we're sending somebody out, they'll be out in 45 minutes. An hour and a half passed, nobody. So I tried ringing again. They were like, oh, whereabouts are you? So I gave them the place that we were again in this lay-by. We were still waiting, so I rung them again. It took literally just over 15 minutes for me to get through, to get somebody to answer. And she's like, oh, let me talk to the person who's supposed to be come to help you. So I'm on hold for like five minutes before she got back to me. Oh yeah, he's on his way, he should be there in half an hour. When he arrived, he told us that 
he only got sent out just after 11 o'clock so what happened there i don't know i'm not really sure exactly what's happened but there's a pipe that goes to the heater in the car that's packed up and so it's taken out all the coolant apparently it was all over the floor next to my feet i never noticed so what he's done is bypass that so i can't turn my heating on in the car now so yay another thing that's wrong with it and do you know the best bit i'm supposed to be getting up for work in two hours time <laughs> it's going to take us about that just to get home so i said to these guys that once i get home i'm going to go to bed when i get up i'm going to go to the garage and they're saying you can't it's bank holiday monday i'm like oh anyway i'm going to get this sandwich eaten and get these guys home hopefully oh, finally i'm home it is this time I'm supposed to be getting up in two minutes for work <laughs> i've just texted my boss to tell him what's happened and the fact that i'm not going to be able to go to work i'm i can barely think straight right now i've been awake for 23 hours spent five hours at harry potter the harry potter studios or tour or whatever you want to call it but then of course it was the what was it five hours of waiting for somebody to show to sort my car out and it's not even sorted it is it had a temporary fix so i can drive home and now i've got to take it back to the garage again <sighs> seriously we broke down at about 7 45 we didn't get seen until well the breakdown guy didn't sh come until quarter past one in the morning and it took him an hour to sort it out and that's why we stopped off at the services because we were all hungry we were all worn out from being sat on the side of the road plus the temperature just plummeted and we started freezing folks i don't know if you can tell but i actually have my vest on underneath my t-shirt i got that cold so now i'm gonna sign off again <laughs> Thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, I nearly forgot what to say there. Peace out. You know, I think that's the sixth thing that's gone wrong with this car this year. I think it's time to get rid of it.